Main article. Galactic Civil War. Listen, I can't get involved. I've got work to do. It's not that I like the Empire. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. It's such a long way from here. Luke Skywalker to Obi-Wan Kenobi in 2 BBY. After the true nature of the Empire became clear, three of the most influential senators, Bail Organa of Alderaan, Garm Beliablis of Corellia, and Morn Mothma of Chandrila, along with others, were on the brink of starting a great rebellion against the Empire. To lure the dissidents out of hiding, the Emperor and Darth Vader had Galen Marek, Vader's secret Sith apprentice, rally the rebels. Brought together by him, they met in secret on Corellia and signed the Corellian Treaty. This officially formed the alliance to restore the Republic, more commonly referred to as the Rebel Alliance. They were arrested on the spot, and taken to be executed by Palpatine himself on board the Death Star but Marek turned to the light side of the Force and freed them, sacrificing his own life. On Kashyyyk, the Alliance commemorated Marek's death and used his family crest as the new organization's symbol. Just weeks later, a full-scale war broke out between the Imperials and the Rebels, which was an armed military conflict that would consume the galaxy for many years to come. However, the threat of rebellion allowed Palpatine to endorse the Tarkin doctrine of rule by fear of force rather than force itself. If anything, Palpatine welcomed the formation of the fledgling Rebel Alliance as a legitimate excuse to remove the last vestiges of the Republic and tighten his grip on the galaxy. To test the Death Star's power, Tarkin ordered the destruction of Despair, the planet which the space station was built over which took three waves and likely consumed its only moon Harun in the process. In Zero BBY, the Imperial Senate was dissolved and taking what was left of the Old Republic with it, which only strengthened the rebellion. Almost immediately afterwards, Tarkin ordered the destruction of Alderaan, which took a single fire and was completely obliterated, despite the captive Leia's protest, who was eventually rescued by the Millennium Falcon crew. A key instrument in the enforcement of the doctrine was intended to be the Death Star, a moon-sized space station with sufficient firepower to easily destroy a planet with a single discharge of its powerful superlaser. Whereas many planets could afford planetary deflector shields capable of warding off virtually any conventional attack, none could defend against the power of that weapon. The weapon was destroyed in the Battle of Yavin, which marked the first major space-based victory for the Rebel Alliance. At this point, Palpatine and the rest of the Empire realized that the rebellion was a major threat to them and one that should be taken seriously, for the destruction of the Death Star was a massive blow to the Empire. After the superweapon's destruction, the rebels had finally found their footing. They began consistent strikes on Imperial-held territories, inciting continuing resentment against the Empire and taking them under the rebels' banner. This included the anti-Imperial propaganda for destroying Alderaan which set thousands of worlds in the galaxy to protest against the Empire's brutality, even in the core worlds. The Alliance had also cultivated renowned leaders and heroes as distinctive as Han Solo, Lando Calrissian and the Jedi to be Luke Skywalker. Although the Empire gained the upper hand in most campaigns against the Alliance, such as the Battle of Hoth and the construction of the second Death Star, they could not prevent the unstoppable juggernaut that the rebels unleashed upon them and felt their grip in the galaxy slowly weakening. Thus, in the climax of the galactic civil war that was the Battle of Endor, where Anakin Skywalker would also aid the rebels in fulfilling an ancient Jedi prophecy, the Empire was finally unseated from its control over the galaxy.